So Arjuna and his brothers have to fight these cousins, these bad cousins. And the Bhagavad Gita part from Mahabharata, it's starting with this, with Arjuna's feeling that he is completely dejected, that he is alone to face this problem of killing his own family because these cousins are part of his family and among them they are people that he loved dearly he, as a child he was on their lap he was with them so just imagine now for yourself that you have to face some enemies and that are sometimes your family maybe there are people here who have their family against them, against their spiritual path. Like it often happens, or maybe friends, maybe you lose friends because you're on a spiritual path. Maybe you lose a job, you have to change because you need more time for spirituality. Just visualize that. And now imagine that you have to kill all these people because they stand in, you know, they stand in front of your spiritual path, in front of what you want to do, not only spiritual path, but in front of your wish, uh, which is sacred. I mean, it's your personal desire, it's your personal project of your life. No one has the right to come and challenge that. Of course, if they are close to you, they will take that right. But you, it's you, you are different, <laughs> right? We are not fusional all the time with others. And you have to make a choice. And here, actually, Arjuna is confronted with this. So Lord Krishna wanted to stop this war happening. He didn't want this war to take place. And he was there uh, trying to find a solution uh, because he knew the family of Arjuna and he knows Arjuna very well. He knows all the brothers. He is introduced like a dear friend and he even is part of their family. When we see the genealogical tree, he is part of their family. And they know, especially Arjuna knows that Lord Krishna is very special. He knows it. He still can't understand that deeply and he didn't have the experience of that, which he will have, you will see, chapter 11. But he knows that Lord Krishna is someone special. He knows it since beginning and he chooses Lord Krishna. He chooses him. He doesn't choose to have a big army because Lord Krishna is giving the choice to Duryodhana. You will see another character of the, from the bad camp. <laughs> and they are faced to a choice. What do they want? And Duryodhana chooses the armies to have a lot of army, a big army. And, and Arjuna chooses Krishna to help him. So he is actually alone with Krishna at the beginning. And we have this scene of the battlefield opening. And I will just read. So the first sloka that is there, I will tell you the, the, the translation and read it in Sanskrit. So Dhritarashtra's inquiry. Dhritarashtra is the father of the 100 enemies, 100 cousins and other family members that Arjuna has to kill. Dhritarashtra uvacha dharma kshetra kuru kshetra sama vetayu yutsavaha mama ka pandavascheva kim akurvata sanjaya so Dhritarashtra says, O oh Sanjaya, after they gathered on the holy field of Kurukshetra, being eager for battle, what did my sons and the Pandavas do? So here the father is the father of the 100 uh, from the opposite camp. He wants to know what is going on on the battlefield. He is blind. He is blind because our mind is blind and he is the symbol of our blindness, of our ignorance. And of course, he's a father. He loves his children, his sons who are now grown up, of course. And he wants to know what is going on on the battlefield. And he asks Sanjaya, you saw, so, oh Sanjaya, what are 
my son's doing there, right? He wants to know. And Sanjaya, who is there assisting him, he's like the servant here, is seeing. So Sanjaya has the spiritual power to see a distance. And Sanjaya connects to the battlefield and gives uh, King Dhritarashtra, he, he gives him the vision of what is going on there and he describes what is going on on the battlefield. So this we will see in details in next sessions. And we will start Bhagavad Gita again, so I will, I will see when I can give you another course during the week. We are still on the, on the schedule, on making the schedule, but be there on Monday if you have time so that we can continue. And if I'm not there, I will give you, uh, same as uh, Krishnas is doing some, sometimes, I will give you a video, an audio, something that you can progress in Bhagavad Gita book. Good, you want us to read Bhagavad Gita, and if you don't have the book, so you can buy it um, in the shop, is this small book, Bhagavad Gita Essentials. This is a must to have for everyone. Before going, moving further, we also have Guru Gita, this is we will we'll uh, talk about in some minutes and we also have Srimad Bhagavatam but first Bhagavad Gita it's a must it's a book that Guruji loves for the first time Guruji agrees with everything in Bhagavad Gita usually Guruji adds things here Guruji loves everything and this is Guruji's commentary so take this book because it's directly commented by him it's important to have our uh master's uh, commentary we call that the basha in uh, in uh, sanskrit okay so let's stop here visualize that you are arjuna that you are on the battlefield already you have all these enemies in front of you and how do you feel how do you feel about having the courage to be confronted to that, to a change, to something that goes against you, maybe at different levels, it can be something else than spiritual paths, it can be your mother-in-law <laughs> doesn't like you, it can be your neighbor that has a conflict with you, it can be your teacher if you are still a student, or so on. Take the courage to be yourself and to make the transformation that you always wanted in your life. And put it, this as an intention today to be strong, to face what is coming on your path, in your journey. Okay? And stay with this today and in the days to come. Remember this, remember that you have to be strong in life. You have to be strong wherever you are. You have to have the strength to move forward. Okay. I attend this meditation and we move on to Guru Gita's sloka with Krishna Das. We have a recording from him and Luka Manoha Das will put that, which share that with us. Jai Gurudev.